Hey guys, what's up? It's Devin here with DW Golf Co. And we are back here at Mammoth Pass Golf Course um, working on the latest addition to the course. This is the point at Mammoth Pass. And so just wanted to show you what we've come up with so far. So ended up kind of reconstructing the green a little bit. Um, and this whole area just gave it a little more subtle of a shelf right in the middle. A little bit of a sideboard here, sideboard here. And um, I did that by starting out with a completely flattened green area, lowered this and dropped kind of the front of this bunker here. Um, it looks like by default, the bunkers are much better just out of the gate here in PGA Tour 2K23. And so um, I'm happy with how those are playing right now. Obviously we'll play test it some more and you know, you might find some more some more things to tweak as we play it. Uh, but for now, this is looking pretty good. I'll go ahead and play test this with the updated thing. Let's go uh, pin four. I don't think we played that one in the last episode. So let's see how it plays. This one's kind of more in the back. I may end up moving it closer to the center um, just with the update in um, that green layout. Just a solid little stroke here into the back of the green should break back toward the hole and then away from the hole here and it does and we're just not a bad shot there Let's see if we can hold this out yes so there you go there's uh hole number one we're already moving moving on let's go ahead and look at hole number two this one's going to be going back toward the clubhouse just a little bit. So picking up right here where we left off. Let's go ahead, create a surface. Let's do a fairway brush. That circular brush is great. I like that you don't have to like double click on it here in 2K23. It's just a simple one click, bam, it's selected. Um, we're gonna have to edit some terrain, I can already tell. Um, here, just bounce it out. Landscaping, just flatten this guy. Flatten him out just a little bit and raise him a couple feet. That feels a lot better. I'm not sure if I care for the proximity to this uh, first hole, but I think it'll affect anything off the tee. It's hidden kind of by that bunker there and this little hill over here. So. Uh, just as long as we don't get rid of those two things, which the bunker's not going anywhere. Feel pretty good about that. Uh, we are going to have to mess with some of this sightline stuff, but that shouldn't be a problem. All right, let's go ahead and get into our green building. Let's spline this guy out. Maybe something kind of more along that line. Uh, that green supply point, spline point. Uh, let's close that. Fill that up. Smooth it out. And bam. There we go. So there's our green. Just kind of a big oval right now. Um, things that I might keep in it and things that I might get rid of. I kind of like the shelf around here. Um, all around. I like the low side over here. That's fine too. Um, so let's plan on keeping that. Let's here, creating a fairway. Let's blind that guy in. Um, let's see. Where to spline? Okay. Let's start over here. I'm just going to go around the back side. The dog's excited about this hole. Um, this one's a shorter hole, so I don't mind building in some difficulty um, into this one at all. Spine point, we're going to edit that. Let's make sure we fill it. And then we smooth it up a little bit. Throw in that second surface. Light rough there, like that. And beginnings of a pretty good par three here. 
the beginnings of it. Um, I am gonna push it so that it's a little bit more front to back. Sloping. Is a shorter bar of three. We're looking at what? 140. This is not that short. Get a little less severe with it. Watched a great video from B101 uh, not too long ago with some suggestions for you know making a place, making your course playable, um, and providing some run-on and run-off areas. And so right here is going to be a bunker, and then right here we have a little bit of I'm gonna give this kind of a valley here, kind of runs off. Um, on this one. Nate's excited. My wife's excited. Everybody's excited about this. I'm just going to drop it basically a foot off this edge here. So it kind of collects. Less bouncy. that to your advantage um, with it being there you go. Something like that try to shrink up this so I can see the, the contours a little better there we go so we have a steep fall off right on the edge of that that green on the left we'll have this kind of pushes us into right side will push you into the green back left will push you into the green and uh, Really short doesn't have too much of a consequence unless you are right on the front, um, but I'm okay with that as well. Cool. So let's add a surface. Let's create a bunker. And let's explain one. Let's just go for a standard, standard shape. extend my fairway around um, so let's click over here fairway spline let's move that guy let's move him to be more kind of out here in the middle of that pick this guy fairway spline move move that point so that he's a little more out here out the spine. There we go. There 
we go. It kind of covers everything. I think I might hold this one in just a little bit more. Here, just shy. Let's out just a little bit more. Just to give that a little bit more of a sharp edge. It's one and a half feet down, so just about level. It's kind of nice looking. Kind of nice looking. I almost want to build this part right here up just a little bit, just to give it some some eye candy off the tee. Some uh, some points here. One, let's add a pen. Um, let's put one around right here. Two, three. Oh, that's pretty, pretty fair for four. One, let's move that guy just a little bit front. A little bit more in the middle. here is uh, flatten out this area here a little bit more. We come back in and uh, flatten this part. It's a little less uh, dramatic, a little, a little less harsh on there. Let's play test this guy. Play test in hole number two. Let's start with uh, pin one. I guess we'll do one and two because I hit the wrong button. But here we go, hole number, hole number one, pin one. That was not a good swing. I could feel it as soon as I pulled it back. Not gonna be a good swing, but might end up with an okay result. Green does funnel back there to the left. And I think we'll be just okay with that result. About four feet there. And not enough room. You do have to watch out for that false front. You don't want to get too aggressive with that. All right, hole number two. Pretty inviting, very large greens, not a whole lot of trouble on these. Um, maybe something we'll have to revisit down the road. This one should be decent. That's respectable. Been high. Just a little bit off to the left. Okay, so not a bad, uh, not a bad first two holes there. Let's look at this again. Looking at it again. All right, let's uh, hop over here, pin set two. Um, let's play hole two. This one is down just a little bit, so we're gonna. This pin placement says something right there. Ooh, this might find the bunker. Hope it does. Oh, yes. Down into the bunker. Yeah, we'll have to add, add just a little bit more, more depth to that guy. Not bad just out of the gate here, but... Ooh, chip in. Yes, please. All right. So let's do that real quick. That's why it's important to play test all of these. Um, not a bad, not a bad thing. It's just something that maybe should have been better. Shrink that down four. That's great. A circle there. Same here. Just a little, a little something around. Yeah. 
shabby. Not too shabby right there. Right, let's play fast this guy again. Roll number two. Ah, play the course again. Darn. Guess we'll play it again. Pin set two. This one should be drawn in kind of close. Right in the center of the green. Nothing too shabby there. A little bit of right to left in this one. Got it. Okay. On to number two. That's looking good. Yeah, off the tee, I might take off a little bit more out of that hill there on the right. Um, just before we get to the green. Um, just because of... Just because of where it's uh, sitting, it's kind of blocking those bunkers just a little bit. That was way too much. I thought I put enough spin on it, but I guess I didn't. Just gonna take a couple, couple rolls. It does come down just a little bit. Not enough, not enough to make a difference on this putt. It's down six inches, so don't think that will affect it. Tracking. Just below the hole. I appreciate that it doesn't run completely off the green. That is a win. Another par save there. Back to editing. Dun, dun, dun. Back to editing. Yeah, so let's uh, sculpt out some flattening. Flattening. like night and day difference. Um, I think we'll give this one just a little bit more, a little bit more pizzazz over here on the top of it. It does affect my hill over on the side though, so do be mindful of that. see those bunkers over there. I still need to knock out more of that hill, but still significantly better. Let's uh, deal off this one. Throw it in short with the gap wedge. This one's going to be left of the pen. First one that's not way up that hill. Cool. So stops, stops promptly. Get in. That didn't work out the way we wanted. That's fine. Okay. So hole number two is coming together there. Still need to do a little bit of dirt work, as they call it. Just a little bit right in. Spin on this eight pitch. That's way right, way slow, nothing positive out of that one. Let's rewind that. Take 
too. Alright. That one's pulled a mile. That's over in that collection area. Which is fine. That's fine over there. I guess that's part of the playtesting fun. But, uh, see what happens if you just completely whiff it. And that's what happens. You end up with a funky, awkward range part putt. Slowly making progress on this one. Taking a little bit to get used to the tools, but overall I think I like the way this one shapes. Alright, let's head to number three. Not hole three. Pin three. And hole two. Same hole, different uh, pin location. This one's front left. Put your wedge into this one. Bring it down a little bit. And that's going to be in that collection area also. Quite a bit past the past the pen, so I'm gonna have to spin this one a bit. Nice, it is running away from you a little bit. If you're in that in that zone, once you get to a certain point, it does run away. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Everybody's excited about that par save. I'm excited about that par save. All right, here we go. See. I, Looking at it, I almost don't want this. Let's kill it and spine point, delete, delete spine. See if I now I have to I have to bring the fairway in around all this. That's the that's the trade-off. in there. Let's do it. Surface bunker. This one is actually not going to be as much in play. Like there's going to be room for it, but it's going to be kind of an eye candy bunker. Um, even if you land in it, it's well short of the green. It's not right on the green, you still have some room, but it's now a little more a little more concerning. Uh, so let's go in here, flatten that guy. Here's that. Just gonna go around it. Once with that four inch down. there in the front. It's not really doing anything apart from just threatening you. Are you threatening me? I am a cordial. A little beef some butthead for you. You may or not may not want that, but that's what we have. You're stuck with beef and butthead. Alright, not a bad uh, not a bad place to be there in the back of the green. Feel like that's a makeable putt. 
on to number two. That's not too shabby. Let's do throw that over there. I'm going to plan to hit it right and see what happens. Draw it in. Draw it in. Give it a little draw. Not as much of a shelf back there as once was. It does go downhill, but it's just not enough to, to bring the ball back unless you're really training for it. Pulled the snot out of that, and I was probably a good inch or two uh, below the hole if I hadn't. Cool. So there's hole number one and two here at the point at Mammoth our par three course. Um, so far, so good. I'm liking the looks of this. Um, the way that this is shaping up here. Got the par three first. First hole, bunkers all around, not necessarily threatening everywhere. Two, really only dangers right, left. You have to you have to contend with that shelf that's down there. Um, yeah, really, I feel like you could put a pen back here, but I'm out of pens. So um, let's go ahead and move this pen. Speaking of pens. Move him a little more central to that back. That way, he's not as uh, close to this ridge right here. I don't think it was affecting much of the putting or really anything else because of where it was sitting. Just like to give a little more room off of that. Um, let's see if we can move this guy a little bit off of that as well. Moving him, just move him in and up just a little bit more. These two pin positions I feel pretty good about. Let's do one more, one more play test here. This is just off the green to the right between the bunkers. Um, is there kind of a shot we can get into that? You have a lot of movement because you just missed one bunker. That's going to roll down just a little. Put probably a little too much spin on it, but it looks salvageable. A couple good shots in here. and Yeah, that's not a good putt, but looks salvageable. Back to editing. Let's uh, see if I can really get in here on this bunker. Play from here. Let's see what that plays like. Ooh. Yeah, that's not fun from down here because you can't see squat. down kind of in the back side of the screen after the after kind of the midway point it does funnel back toward that back where it flattens out Ooh, made a ridiculous putt instead end up with bogey all right Let's just aim directly for this guy that was fast the shot that I was intending to hit, but might work out just fine. And we're in. Nice. So there's holes one and two. Just learning the builder as we go. Um, that's going to do it here for this episode. And um, this course should go pretty quick. So I'm excited to, to get it all hashed out here with you guys. And um, if you haven't already, be sure that you're subscribed to our channel, that you have uh, have those alerts on. That way you can get all of the latest and greatest here from uh, the point at Mammoth Pass, as well as future uh, golf course edits that we make and all that fun stuff. So um, 
until next time thank you guys so much this is devin with dw golf co and uh we'll catch you next time